Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, we're going to take a close look at the image radiance filter. For this image, I began my processing with the raw develop filter, and you can see I just did some basic adjustments to bring the image to this point. Now I want to add image radiance to it, so I have the image radiance filter. The image radiance filter is one of those filters that won't do anything unless you move the amount slider off of zero, meaning uh, you can move all the other sliders all you want and you won't see anything happen to your image until that amount slider is moved off of zero. So be aware of that. So to begin with, when you're using this filter, the first thing you should probably do is move that amount slider to the right. Once you do that, you can see that image radiance kind of gives your image kind of an ethereal glow, uh, kind of a real, uh, you know, cloudy, light look. And a lot of people like that look. And if you do, the image radiance filter is for you. Now, the next slider below the amount slider is the smoothness slider. And that's probably the most confusing slider of the bunch because it's difficult to explain in words what it does. So to better illustrate it, I'm going to bring amount all the way to 100 and I'm going to zoom in by hitting command plus on my keyboard a couple times uh, because I have a Mac I'm hitting command if you have a PC you'd hit control plus and I'm going to drag the image over here and we're going to look at this area right here of these clouds you could see there's some little darker parts of the clouds and there's lighter parts of the clouds when I take this smoothness slider and I move it to the left you'll notice the darker parts get darker and the lighter parts get lighter. When I move it to the right, the darker parts get lighter and the lighter parts get darker. So in effect, when you move the smoothness slider to the right, you're decreasing contrast. You're making the image flatter. When you move it to the left, you're increasing contrast. You're making the darker parts darker and the lighter parts lighter. And that is in effect what a contrast slider does but in reverse. When you want to add contrast with the contrast slider, you of course move it to the right. With the smoothness slider, you move it to the left. And conversely, if you want to make an image flatter with the contrast slider, you would move it to the left. Whereas with the smoothness slider, you would move it to the right. So you could kind of decrease contrast. So we'll zoom back out by hitting Command-0. If you have a PC, hit Control-0. If you apply image radiance by moving the amount slider to the right and it appears that your image is a little too flat move this smoothness slider to the left on the other hand if you applied image radiance with the amount slider and it appears that your image is a little bit too contrasty then move the smoothness slider to the right and it kind of smooths everything out it kind of makes the image flatter so that's how I could best describe how to adjust the smoothness slider. Now all this depends on what you have your amount slider set at and I think you'll probably bounce back and forth between the amount and smoothness sliders quite a bit and then probably jump down to the brightness and shadow slider. Now for this demonstration I'm going to leave amount on 100 just so we could better see what's going on with the other sliders and then at the end I'll adjust this as I would go about adjusting the image radiance filter. Now, brightness really just affects the brightness of the radiance, not necessarily affect the brightness of the whole image. Although because image radiance really affects just about the whole image, it will kind of give that look that it's affecting everything. And as you can see with brightness, we could move brightness down or up. So if I move it up, you could see that where the radiance is, is getting brighter. If I move it down, where the radiance is, is getting darker. So that brightness control, you could move up or down. Its default position is zero, and it will make either the radiance brighter or darker. And again, when you come in, if after you adjusted amount and smoothness, it looks like the radiance is just a little bit too bright, then turn this down. Or if it's too dark, turn it up. The next slider, shadows, affects just the shadows, not necessarily just the shadows that have radiance on them. In other words, this shadow slider works exactly like a shadow slider 
up here in the raw develop. If after you applied radiance, if your shadows just look too dark, you could open them up by moving this slider to the right. By default, this slider is on zero and you can't move it below zero. So you only could open up the shadows or make your shadows brighter. And you can see that works exactly like any other shadows slider in any of the other um, filters. So it's just a normal everyday shadows slider. Now saturation will affect the saturation of the entire image. So as we move it up, you can see the blue is getting bluer up here in the sky. The greens are getting greener and the browns are getting browner. So we're really affecting the saturation if I move it to the right by increasing the saturation of the colors. If I move it to the left, we're decreasing the saturation of all the colors across the image. And the warmth slider, if you move it to the right, you'll make the entire image a little warmer. And if we move it to the left, we make the entire image a little cooler. So that's really the explanation of the sliders. Uh, from shadow, saturation, and warmth are typical. Those work what, how you would expect. Brightness, again, only affects the actual radiance that is in the image. And smoothness is hard to explain in words. I hope I illustrated that properly. Now what I'm going to do is try to adjust this image how I would go about adjusting image radiance, my kind of game plan. So I'm going to reset it by clicking right there. I typically would probably take a mount to a midpoint somewhere. Then I would look at the image and actually I would just grab onto the smoothness slider and I would move it left or right while looking at the image and see what looks best. And I think for me, for my personal taste, and of course this all comes down to personal taste, there's really no right or wrong way to do this, I'm going to move the smoothness slider to the right. Then I'm going to come back up to the amount slider and I'll probably move that a little bit more to the right. Now the brightness, I'll do the same with that as I did with the smoothness. I'll just move it to the left or right a little bit. And I see as I move it to the right, it's just making the glow or that radiance a little bit too bright. So I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And I'm going to open up my shadows just a touch. And I'm going to add a bit of saturation. And I think I want to make this just a touch warm. So I'm going to move that to the right. Again, that's totally subjective. Um, maybe you prefer to be a touch cool. Now once I'm done and I look at it, I, I probably really don't see a lot of radiance in there. So let's turn it off. There's off and on. You can see not a lot. So I'm going to, let's do it again. There's off. It's kind of delayed quite a bit. When I have this recording software on, running on my computer to record my screen and my audio, it tends to bog the computer down a little bit. So things get a little bit slow to act. So there's off, and there's on. Give it a chance to kick in. Yeah, you can barely see it. There it goes. I'm just going to up it just a little bit. So I'm going to move them out up just a little bit, and I think that is where I would stand with it. I obviously, personally, don't like a lot of image radiance usually, but every shot is different. Uh, night image, you may prefer a lot of radiance on like the... Uh, pointed light sources, that is like the street lamps and uh, stuff like that that are just uh, single light sources. Those usually look pretty cool with a little bit of image radiance added to them. So you could work with it on something like that. But I think this image kind of illustrates uh, very um, thoroughly what the different sliders do. And that's why I picked this image. That's it for this video. I hope that helps you better utilize the image radiance filter found in Luminar 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.